Warning, sensitive images. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven, Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. برنامه های ما شامل زبان های بسیاری است. از این وبسایت ها دیدن فرمایید suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Hell is real. It's a real place. Mm. Heaven is real. These things are real. You're going to die one day. Where are you going to go? You know, you want to go to devil, spend eternity there, or you want to go to Lord. This is a real place. And I know I've, been, I've seen them both, and I've choose heaven. And if they're smart, they'll do the same thing. Near-death experiences, exploring heavens and the afterlife, part four of a multi-part series. Please continue watching to find out more. The universe is not for man alone, but is a theater of evolution for all living beings. Live and let live is its guiding principle. Virachan Raghavji Gandhi, Vegetarian Shima Senene, I just said, how are you in Sasaki, the language spoken by the Zaza people. I'm Mirai. The peaceful Zaza people are grateful for your passion for loving and caring for all precious living beings on our exquisite planet. May your peace ensuring efforts be blessed by the divine. Welcome to the fourth episode of our multi-part series, Near-Death Experiences, Exploring Heavens and the Afterlife. For centuries, humans have had a mystical curiosity about the afterlife. We have many questions and always wonder, what is there for us after we leave this physical body and journey beyond death? Today, we have the incredible privilege of hearing firsthand from people who have had near-death experiences or NDEs. These individuals have visited the other side and are here to share their life-changing experiences with us. According to the National Institute of Health, nearly 9 million United States citizens from religious and non-religious backgrounds have had a near-death experience and found themselves in an encounter with the Divine. In this series, we will explore their NDEs and hear about their personal experience of meeting God and traveling to the afterlife. We begin with the extraordinary story of former professional boxer Curtis Earthquake Kelly, who came to his NDE at the age of 15 and experienced hell during a drug overdose. As I was going down to the, to the heart of the earth, and as I got down, it was horrible, stinky, smelly. You could hear screams and yell. And then more of these evil creatures grabbed me. They tormented. They were hitting me in the head with all kinds of, uh, uh, I don't know what these things were. Kelly continues to describe the evil creatures of hell. They were ugly with, with long teeth and fingernails and scaly and hairy, and they were all different sizes. They were little ones, little itty bitty ones in my mouth that were pulling my tongue. They were laughing. The experience was so traumatizing that Curtis has difficulty finding words for so much fear and horror. You can't even describe what the word fear. It's beyond horror. It's beyond torment. It's just constantly, it's 
is they're just on you. They're on you, and they remind you of your past. They remind you of the things that you did. Everything you did bad on the earth is down there with you and torment on top of everything else. It's just constant. They do not give up. They, they, they will not leave you alone. Because of the prayers of his loving mother, he was saved by God and brought back to his body on earth. I heard a voice that because of your mother's prayers and you were chosen to do a work for us, you were spared. After this experience, Curtis devoted his life to God. For those who don't believe in life beyond this world, this is Curtis's message to them. Hell is real. It's a real place. Mm. Heaven is real. These things are real. You're going to die one day. Where are you going to go? You know, you want to go to the devil, spend eternity there, or you want to go to the Lord. This is a real place. And I know I've, been, I've seen them both, and I've choose heaven. And if they're smart, they'll do the same thing. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has shared insights with us on how we can help others through the power of prayer. Because when we pray, we are more connected to heaven. Yes, yes, yes. Master. So the heaven power can be connected to you and flow into you. And since you are having affinity with other humans, that power can be transmitted because she, he d did not have, doesn't have, or doesn't have at that moment, weak. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Uh, how you say, plagued by karma or by the contrast. So with your extra power now, you can share. The next educational and wondrous near-death experience takes us to Lou Famoso, a 21-year-old serving in the United States Navy in 1964. While on the way to a party, Lou lost control of his vehicle and it began to somersault, then exploded, which launched him 30 feet through the air. Luckily, his friends found him on this side of the road and rushed him to the hospital. On the way, his soul separated from his body, and he began to see the entire scene from above. Lou met various divine beings during his NDE, including the archangels Michael and Gabriel. These beings took Lou on a journey to understand how the world had reached its current point of destruction and what was on the horizon. Lou first describes seeing images of war. There were scenes of men in uniform killing other men in uniforms. There were also thousands of them not in uniforms killing even more thousands not in uniform. Different countries, different nations, different religions, different weapons, and different decades, but always resulting in hundreds of thousands dead and dying. Lu asked the divine being, ushering him through the scene, how long this was to go on for. The being said, man will pray on man, until man will pray for man. Lou was then shown many catastrophes which have not yet happened on planet Earth. The next vision was of floods, many of them spilling across the Earth on different continents in different seasons, and I am again walking among it, feeling the force and taking in the smell of death. Hundreds of lives and acres upon acres of crops were lost as well as hundreds of stock and wild animals floating away into the abyss. Then I was watching volcanoes from around the world erupting, first one then another. The molten lava buried whole towns and villages, and the people and animals within them. I gazed among the ruins and saw little left of what once stood there. The last vision I saw on the screen was of earthquakes destroying sections of almost every continent. I turned again to the being and he said, There will not only be more of what you have seen, but there will come a time when it will all happen at the same time, and it will come the same time of man's greatest sins. I didn't have time to ask when he said, they will turn from me and claim themselves like gods. 
After seeing many scenes of death and destruction, Lu was shown a potentially new Earth that may come after peace is established on the planet. The Earth no longer looked as it did moments before. It was newer, cleaner, and more beautiful with darker greens and lighter blues. People were upon this Earth and appeared happier and more content, although seemingly living like the native populations of old. Cities built by the ancient ones that were buried beneath the oceans were now being populated by the surviving people in this new world. I saw tribes joining tribes and small nations forming, but it was what I didn't see that made my heart burst. There were no more wars. True peace and happiness had finally befallen mankind. Could these visions by Lu Famoso relate to the conversation Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan recently had with the COVID chief, who said 91% of the human population will be destroyed before November 4th, 2099, unless we change our barbaric ways of animal people consumption, war and greed? I press him. Can you tell me this time when COVID-19 will end and the world will go back to normal? The COVID-19 chief told me, year 2099, November 4th. So I asked him further, at that time, how many percent left? And can we start again after 77 years? Imagine that. Until then, will be death, sickness, destruction, new and more lethal, dangerous uh, variants, correct? So the CV chief said yes. Wow. 9% left. 9%? Wow. He said only 9% left until that time. Wow. However, as Supreme Master Ching Hai has said many times, the future is not set in stone. Now I ask again, so if these 91% repent, pray for forgiveness, soon will pandemic be over? So COVID chief told me, yes, but must be truly sincere. Mm. Best turn vegan too. So people in the world they have to truly repent. They have to sincerely repent like they need air to live. Yes. Pray like all your lives and everything else that you treasure depends on it. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Pray as if you are drowning and you need air. And turn vegan. And repent, of course. So summary is repent, pray for forgiveness, and turn vegan. Three things. Our sincere thanks to all the souls that were able to return to Earth to share their near-death experiences with us. Through the grace of their stories, we can learn valuable lessons on how we should live this life for our soul to rise to the highest heavens and avoid the indescribable pain and suffering of hell in the afterlife. Vegan, soldier of the meek and the weak. Thank you, noble viewers, for your precious presence with us on today's show, Near Death Experiences, Exploring Heavens and the Afterlife, Part 4 of a multi-part series. Please tune in on Wednesday, March 15th, for Part 5 of this series. Coming up next is... Pray for World Liberation, Part 4 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples. May you and your family be blessed with multiple experiences of God's love daily. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach.
Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.